Hey guys, how you doing? This is Dream Moose Tarot here, here for another reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciated. Thank you for those who subscribe, those who recently subscribed, and those who are subscribing in the near future. All is welcome. Cross watches, grab a seat. All right, I won't hold you guys any longer. Thank you, thank you so much for your continued subscription to my channel. Like, share, comment. All is greatly appreciated. I'm very, very humble and thankful. Now let's get to your reading. All right, ancestors, angels, any messages you would like for me to relay back to the sign of Sagittarius? Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This is why I highly recommend that you guys subscribe because there's no gender, no time in tarot. You just never, never know when you need to hear it. Okay, let's get to it. All right, the hermit. Oh, so someone had to surrender. Someone had to hold back a lot of emotions, huh? Hiding out for a little bit. Not ready to face certain people. Is it you? Is it them? <laughs> it's up to you. You know what it, what place you what place you lie in here, Sagittarius. <laughs> Did y'all stop communication? Was someone being petty? Okay. The sun. But little do you know, with a little bit of cooperation, there's light in the under, at the end of the tunnel. And if, if it, it might be with this person, and it might just not be with this person. All right? For, you, for some of y'all, though, for some, yeah. Oh, then, regardless if it's not with this person, it's going to be with someone else. And if, it's, and if it's not someone else, it's with this person. Okay? When y'all guys want, I think you guys needed that time to step back and reflect. Take y'all time. For some of you guys are still in hermit mode. For some of you guys are still in the pause. For some of you guys are doing li sl um, slim to no conversation at all between one another. And there's some of you guys who are actually communicating with that person. Okay? But it's screaming lovers. It's screaming that you guys had to go through some things. Oh, and the devil. It is the past. <laughs> so it is this person that you're longing and you're coming here for. This is a person from your past. And they want to see longevity with you. They're not ready to let this go. And I don't think you are either. Well, you kind of sort of have a one foot out the door. But this person, yeah, they're not ready to let you go. They're not ready to let you go, Sagittarius. And cross watches, like I said, grab a seat. If this is you. Who you know that your person, you know internally your person's not ready to let you go, but yet being stubborn, they're a fire sign. They wanna they want you to walk in the own the own beat of their drum. And sometimes that don't work. Sometimes it's it's about being balanced. It's about being throwing away childish habits, throwing childish ways in order to join a human a union that is destined to be. But yet, because of childish ways of wanting to be right and wanting to have up on, one up on someone would make you create a problem that could have been diffused a long time ago. So sometimes you got to wonder and question and ask yourself, what is it that you need? What is it that you need to surrender to? Okay, what habits do you need to let go of in order to fulfill this relationship. And now this is cross watchers and Sagittarius. I'm talking to you both of you guys cuz I feel both energies have become very very petty on whose feelings are more important. In reality check, both of you guys feelings are important. The only thing is the validation is what y'all guys are so worried about of getting Clarification from that person, for getting clarification for one another, for getting clarification from other suitors. Asking questions about your relationship when y'all already know the answer. Obviously, with the lover's card, there is love here. Obviously, you guys will be in a place of reconciliation. But what, but, but and to what extent are you guys are ready to allow the pettiness, the, the, the unnecessary 
um, disruption in within your connection because of, of wanting to be wanting to win at all costs. Why? Love shouldn't be this hard. Love should not be well. Hey, to be honest, I kind of like a little battlefield. But to be honest, I don't like really. I don't like smooth relationships. However, it should not be to where you. It's not ta tangible. Okay, ta um, t attainable. It can't. And if it feels like that, then that means that's not for you. But let's dive more into this. Let's dive more into this. Okay. But I feel as though this will work if you guys step aside and reevaluate what y'all what y'all want. The world card. Hello. You guys have to really stand firm. And it could be your person too that needed a little time to stand firm on what it is that they want. Queen of Swords. Yes. It, it, they need some time. They don't know how to tell you, and this is why they're a little bit standoffish. If you see them a little bit quiet, and it could be you that's a little bit quiet, it's because you guys are really weighing out your pros and cons. You know this person loves you, and this person knows that you love them, but at times, I'm telling you that pride and ego would chew you up. It would chew you up. This person seeking you in so many ways, but they're afraid. Oh, Ten of Cups. Yo, there's going to be wish fulfillment. If you guys, y'all guys need to cut it out. This can work, but, there is, but the only way, but the only way that it will work is if you guys really comprom compromise and find a balance in what it is that y'all guys really want from one another. And obviously it's love. But there could be a connection. There's something I read. There could be a connection, but is this person will willing to battle with you when it needs be? If this Is this person really ready to fight with you for stability? You know, grow this foundation, this family, this marriage. Is this person really actually ready? Because a connection could be strong. Don't get me wrong. A connection could be strong. You guys could feel where you guys cannot live without one another. But does that make it be what it is? Because it's a feeling. But if actions are not rolling with the feeling, then it's just only simply just feelings. So what y'all guys need to do is build structure into this. And if it's not already surfing, surfing that way, and I always say what's for you will always be for you no matter what life throws at you. If this person's best, supposed to be in your life, they will be in your life. And if this person was, was supposed to walk away... The universe will show you, the, the the and the universe will hurt, make this person hurt you so much where you have to. There's no choice but to walk away. But what I see right here, for some of you Sagittarius, you need, you can be fulfilled with this person, but it will take some work. It will take some work. It will take some time. And it will take some patience. One, for this person to understand your love language. And one, for you to understand their love language. And then combine it into one. Yes, it takes two to tangle. But how beautiful can one solid love be? There's love here. If you love this person or if this person loves you. Whoever needs to make changes shall make changes, should make changes, and you have the free will to make those changes, or the universe will help you make those changes. And if it ain't with this person, oh, by glory to God, you will make those changes, regardless if you believe that you're ready or not. It's like final destination. You only got one time to skip death, and it's one time to skip faith. Until universe starts showing you their true colors. Are you ready? That's all I have for you guys. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. 
Till next time, Sagittarius. Peace.